Hey everybody, it's Cheryl here at CLM Premium Goats and Goat Milk Products. I am out here with our little babies that are approximately two weeks old. Well, they're not quite two weeks old yet, but they're the, our oldest group. We're up to 25 babies right now, and we do have them split off in groups. Today it's 46 and sunny, so it's the first day that they have been able to come outside. It's still very, very muddy. It's hard to see in the video with all the sunshine, but let me tell you, we had 11 inches of snow and below 20 degree temperatures. <laughs> Look at it, they're so happy. And they've been locked in the barn for over a week. I mean, everybody has just been cooped up, can't get out. It's been just a nasty mess. And of course, as soon as we went 20 below zero, we started kidding. One mama after another. Fortunately, we have 24 hour surveillance in our barns. We have kidding pens. We have this nice, wonderful, huge barn that they stay in that gets all closed up. And we was able to get everybody just fine. Nobody got frostbit, nobody got frozen. All mamas did fine. Um, we did lose a mom this year, which was very sad. One of my favorites of all time um, with a torn uterus. When, when you're having babies, whether you are an animal or an, a, a person, really, it's, it's intense. I mean, there's a lot of things that can go wrong and we take it for granted, you know, like it's an everyday thing, but unfortunately there's a lot that can go wrong and something went wrong. She had a very, very, you're in my shadow, little Izzy, um, a very large baby. This mom had had quads three times, I believe, and triplets the rest. And this year, unfortunately, even though she's a registered Nigerian dwarf, she had a baby the size of a, I don't know, Nubian baby or something. I don't really know what size they come out. Um, I do know that my non-registered girls, which here is one right here, that's why she looks a little different than my other Nigerians that are all registered. This little girl, <laughs> they're not going to stand still for us. Her mama is a little bit Nubian, most Nigerian, but she does have enough Nubian in her that she's a little bigger, a little bit bigger dairy goat, and her babies are a little bigger. Same with this guy right here. So these are our three non-registered that we have right now up here in this pen and we have two others in our front area that I will show you here in just a few minutes. Um, but anyway, our poor mama Leilani got a torn uterus. It was a very, very hard delivery. She never actually could um, deliver the large baby because of being pregnant with one. That's always my fear is one baby in there because they can get so big. There's no reason really. Um, people say, you know, giving them too much feed or whatever. Well, I have tested that and tested that. Look at this look. <laughs> and I've had moms have the same amount of feed and one kid, two two pounders and one kid to five pounders so it's happened many times and never they just don't add up there's no real reasons so anyway back on a positive note here's one of my beautiful mama's Le leah nice big udder she's one of my milk and registered nigerians she has two silver boys they must have ran back in the barn i'll go get those one is already sold the other one's pulled and blue-eyed. Absolutely gorgeous. We are located 30 minutes east of Kansas City. If you are looking for Nigerian dwarf goats, registered or non-registered, and we take the top quality care. We give all baby, well baby medicines to them before they go to their new home. 
Um, hi, Bubba. And even though they're damn raised, they're very friendly because we give them daily attention. Just like you seen little Izzy jumping up on me, making sure I'm nice and muddy. <laughs> so, this little blue eyed, oh, there went a car. They're scared to death, all running towards the barn. <laughs> They'll come running right back out in just a second. Um, oh, one was late. There he goes. Here they come, back out. But anyway, um, we do all of that. And if they're pulled, that's wonderful. If they're not pulled, we disbud them. We have that little boy over there that's going to be disbudded today that's going in the barn. Um, he was one of the first born and he's ready to be disbudded. I've got to check these others in here that are the same age, but they're a little bit littler, so they may not be ready yet that I'm gonna check them to see how many we have to do today. Honestly, I don't like to do over four or five in a day. I think it's more traumatizing to me than it is the babies. But anyway, everybody gets double A, triple A, quadruple A care here. We do everything we can 24 hours a day for these guys and our mamas. We love them to death. I know you'd be happy with the baby you got from us, but this video is not about selling, so let me get off of that. Um, there's another one. This is Leah's mama, or Leah's sister, sorry. Leah's mama is in the kidding pen right now. She just had a baby girl. Her name's Cindy, and she's already sold. Leah's got two beautiful little boys that you've seen hopping in the videos over there. She's also one of our milkers. This is Diamond, who's a milker. All these girls in here are, are milkers. We have about 60 girls, but I only pick the very biggest top producers to milk because I only need to need or want <laughs> to milk about 15 a day. So the others, we let them feed their babies and dry up. The, the top 15, I select those and we milk them every day and we get around three gallons a day from that. And we have daily pickup for customers here. We also sell um, goat milk soaps and lotions, which are very popular around here once people got to using them because they are so wonderful for your skin. And I can hardly keep up inventory on that because that's just a side gig. This right here is my full, full time gig. <laughs> Out front, you can see some of the junior girls around to their feeder. They're getting some exercise because they actually came clear out this back door. Some are a little lazier and they stayed at this feeder and some ran all the way around the pasture, all the way around till they got out front and they're out there eating. So we still have a lot of babies coming. If you haven't followed my Facebook channel and you like watching baby videos, I do post a lot more on there than I do here on YouTube. So. Um, because most of those are live videos happening right then, just keeping updates of babies and things that's going on. And it's CLM Premium Goats and Goat Milk Products. And you can find that, you can like our page. Please share our videos to your um, friends and family that love goats. It really helps us a lot here to run our small dairy farm. And I'm going to pause right here from the back gate and I'm going to go show you some of the little babies up front. Everybody's playing and having a good day. Unfortunately, those little girls up front, they can't get our little girls and guys. The youngest babies, they're about less than a week old. They can't get outside because it's too muddy. Too muddy out their door. It's, I'm telling you, 10 inches of snow or 11 inches. And then it melted. Of course, it got warm enough to melt and then it rained for two days and I mean rained solid <clears throat> so boy did we have some rain and now we have solid mud the sun's helping a lot we had sun yesterday we got sun today so hopefully every day will be a little better this week we're supposed to have sunshine all week I believe so let me pause and I'll be right back with the guys up front <laughs> Okay, everybody, I'm up at the front pen, and right off the bat, here is the little silver girl that's coming to see me. Come here, Bubbo. I know, I'm so scary, ain't I? I'm so scary. 
Yeah, there you go. You're so pretty. She is, I believe, pulled like her daddy. We have a very good silver uh, buck that come from very good show and milk lines. And like I told you previously, these babies get a lot of care. So they're, they love attention just like bottle babies do. Don't ya? Yeah. Don't you, boo boo? Yeah. You're a sweetheart. I'm glad I don't have to disbud you. There is Flower. Flower is one of our non-registered moms. Um, when we got her mama cotton, we were supposed to get papers mailed to us, but unfortunately we never did. Um, the person we got them from didn't do a very good job of that. So here we are with a non-registered full-blood Nigerian dwarf goat that should be registered. She has great babies, great udder, and let me show you her babies. She has one little silver boy right here and this little buckskin boy right over there, the one with the brown at the back and the black at the front. That's what we call buckskin. They call that a cape, that black part. It can be little, it can be big, but that's called a cape. This guy right here is chemise, that black line down his back. He's got black on his face and he's got four black legs. That's called chemise. This one right here, the little blue-eyed guy half asleep. <laughs> that is called light buckskin, or some call it red buckskin. But he, I always call him light buckskin. But he's got the cape as well. He's just light. So the um, let's see, that's uh, that's Flowers, the, the chemise guy. I don't know where his mama went. Oh, she's over here eating. This is her right here. She's a beautiful buckskin that has beautiful babies all the time. This here is Dottie. Dottie's gorgeous buckskin moon spotted. She is mama a little silver girl. Yeah, that's her baby. Dottie's a first time mama. She's two years old. So she's still going to grow a little bit. We are very pleased with Dottie. She's had a lot of milk for babies, nice udder, and just a beautiful goat. So she come from good lines and it definitely shows. And she, for, for a first time mom, you wouldn't even know she's first time mom. She's just excellent. That's Maggie over there. Maggie is one of our older girls. We've had Maggie for a very, very long time. You can see one of her babies just run over to get some more breakfast or lunch, whatever time it is. And that's a little boy that's over there eating. And Maggie's little girl is right here. I got to try to show you her face. Oh, she gonna turn and lay on the boy. But this side, this black patch is only on one side. She is absolutely adorable. If you go to my Facebook page, you'll see pictures of Maggie's babies and all the babies because they're on there. Let's go over here. Try not to trip over little silver girl because she's still at my feet. This Maggie's little boy and he's still available as well. So is the little chemise. And our kidding pens are full of babies right now. There's Mama Leah. I'm gonna get out here and show you. We let her out of her kidding pen to get a little bit of exercise. If I can get this gate shut for you. And she's got two beautiful babies. One boy, one girl over in the kidding stall. These are our kidding stalls. We sometimes put up sheets because like old Cindy here, our very first Nigerian dwarf coat that we ever got. She don't like anybody coming around her baby. See, she's like, get away. So since we have Squirrel and her little girl over here, it just helps to have some sheets up, save the fence. That's her little girl right there. And then if you go over here, these are the premier heat lamps. We use them when needed. They ain't needed right now, so they're not on. Right after a baby's born, they're wet. We're trying to get them dry or it's 20 below, we use them. If you're gonna use heat lamps, I highly recommend the Premier, and you can order them online, heat lamp and bulbs. They're the safest you can buy, and a lot of people have 
burnt barns. Also make sure them things are wired up that there is no way that thing can fall down. Heat lamps are not something you take lightly when you have them in your barn. Many people have lost every animal. Our goats are locked up in here at night and when it's cold, they're locked up day and night. So we do not take any chances. But here is her babies. Let me zoom in for you. Snuggling each other just like always. On the left is a boy. He's a chemise with a lot of white. On the right is a buckskin girl. She is black in the front, white in the back, and her white is covered in big uh, brown and black spots. She's beautiful. And then over here we have Bunny. Hi, Bunny. Bunny has had kids three times for us, and both times she, she had two the very first year, one the second year. No, I think she had two. Um, without my paperwork, I'm lost most of the time. But over there is her three this year. Absolutely gorgeous. That You start off, the left side is a black and white boy. The middle is a black and white girl. And the um, far right is a mostly black girl with just a little bit of white on her. And I actually was a little nervous about Bunny because she's a little girl. She's not one of our bigger Nigerians. And I was worried about her feeding them. Not kidding, she does just fine. She's plenty big for all of that. But she actually has been a trooper. She's a champ. Her udder stays full of milk and they eat, eat, eat. So she's making plenty of progress with that and I don't feel um, worried about it at this time at all. If there's a problem, I will get them taking a bottle and they will eat off the bottle and mom, but I don't see it a problem. We've only had to supplement like that one time and that was when a smaller girl than Bunny had five. <laughs> So they stayed with mom. Mom took care of them and she did an amazing job, the best she could possibly do. But I would come down with bottles, hold them down. They would eat from the bottle and they would eat from mom. Very good babies um, with no troubles at all. We absolutely love mamas raising their babies. It's not e just easier for us, but they're just all around better goats. Mama teaches them what they need to know. So that is it here today at CLM Premium Goats and Goat Milk Products. I hope you got something out of our videos. And we will leave you right here with my beautiful Cindy and her beautiful girl. And if there's anything we can help you with, don't hesitate to just send us a message um, on Facebook or YouTube.